Good afternoon, my friends. I've had quite an eventful morning. I had to replace this tire. It has too much glass in it, unfortunately, to keep riding it. And I went to the local bike shop and I got this fancy one. Looks like it'll be great for zooming at super fast speed. So let's get down to uh, Jamaica Bay and go fishing as soon as possible. It's pretty windy down here. My original option and location had to be diverted because it was zoned off. So I'm down here at a place I know very well. Uh, I'm just kind of waiting for this wind to die down and then I'll get out there fishing. Starting with this chromed out SP Minnow. First time using one of them. So we'll see how it goes. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. I was just walking the beach looking for treasures and I found this bracelet. It's very nice. I think I'm gonna wear it. New bracelet, it's a very cool one. Probably use that for bait. If the bird doesn't come get it soon. I just got back to the lab, had to uh, jet back here ASAP. I had some Mr. Softy at the beach and uh, I don't usually have lactose or milk products, but it looked really good. So I had it and indulged and uh, yeah, I learned my lesson the hard way and uh, had to ride my bicycle home as quickly as possible so I could get on the toilet. But I found this really cool uh, beaded uh, wrist thing, uh, bracelet it's called. Uh, so, yeah, that was a cool find. I'm gonna make some dinner real quick. I'll show you what it, what it is. So before I eat dinner, I have to give the rabbits their dinner because they run my life and they're my roommates. So I usually give them some greens. This stuff's pre-washed, which is much easier to use. And I just wash my hands, don't worry. So, oh yeah, here they are. As Liko and Cheeky and Misty. And yeah, they're gonna eat their, uh, their greens is what they do every day. They eat their greens. And then, uh, pretty soon once they're done with their greens, I'll give them some treats and hang out with them for a little bit. We do this every day. And, uh, then I'll start making my dinner. Hey, check out my jingle jingles, guys. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Yeah, free beach find. You know how we roll. Oh, sorry, Liko. You gotta leave them alone when they're eating dinner. <laughs> Grabbing his tree. Oh, and here's Misty chewing on some lettuce still. And then I double it up and give him a little extra one. Daily traditions over here. All right, so here we go. Making dinner. I try not to think about it too much. Just eat a bunch of vegetables and uh, some rice or like tofu or some shit but yeah I usually just take this something like a beet this is a beet um, chop it up into a bunch of uh, pieces just like this and uh, get into some pieces and then uh, take that shit throw it in this fucking pan just like so Take some mushrooms, throw those in there. And uh, that's probably gonna taste pretty good. And then uh, take some garlic, these are garlic cloves. Chop those up into some pieces. 
Doesn't really matter how big or small. Just chop those up. Chop, chop, chop. And take those. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Sprinkle that garlic all over. Bloop, 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 bloop. A little salt. Try not to use too much salt. It's not good for you. A little bit of pepper. Uh, take this uh, green pepper right here. I like the seeds personally, but teach their own. Drop out that little core heart there. Bada bing, bada boom. Rip that shit into a bunch of pieces. Chop it up. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Take that shit. Throw it in there. Rip it up a bunch of times. Don't gotta be fancy. Just get that fuel in your body. So, when I make a meal like this, which is usually like twice a week, this will last me two days. And usually the second day, it tastes a lot better. Man, I just take this pan and throw it right back in the oven. Alright, so threw this into, uh, I don't know, 400 degrees, that sounds good. And um, take this bad boy, oh yeah, maybe like throw some oil on it, it'll get uh, more texture to it. Uh, throw that in there, mix that up. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, this is already looking good. Get that that uh, water boiling on this side of the world. Throw this, throw that in the oven. That's gonna be tasty. And then uh, we work our way back over here. We got some broccoli. Broccoli that up and uh, take it over here to the boiler, throw that in the boiler, then come over here. I hate wasting food, but these little ends are really hard for me to chew, so I usually don't eat these ends. Uh, unfortunately, I toss them. Um, so I cut this, this, uh, what's this called again? Asparagus up into a bunch of pieces. Move that over there to the boiling water. It's boiling up all nice and nice now. Throw that over there. And take this carrot. Cut this carrot up. Bada bing, bada boom. Getting this carrot going. Carrot it up. Yep. This is, this is, this is a cooking show right here. Yep. Cut that in there. And take a little lemon. A little bit of lime, maybe. So you don't get any seeds. Use your hand. You don't need no sifter. You don't need no strainer. You don't need no cheesecloth. Just use your hand. If a seed pops out, your hand will catch it. It's not that hard. Yeah, and then you take this stuff and then uh, put that shit back in there. I got a candy bar for later. And then I uh, do a little quick little clean up over here. Almost done. Wash off that knife. And then I clean up just like so. And uh, bada bing, bada boom. And then, uh, so I'm gonna let this boil up a little bit. Maybe about, I don't know, just three minutes or something like that. The point of the boil is that I'm trying to break down the, um, what's it called, like the fiber or whatever in here. And then uh, that way when I add it to the rest of the veggies that are in the oven, um, it'll all kind of mix together. I don't know. I've, I, it just seems to help a lot. Anyways, let's let that boil up and then we'll, we'll, we'll get back to the next piece of business. So that's probably boiled enough. Uh, and then I take this bad boy out of the oven. It's only, it hasn't been cooking for very long, only a couple minutes. And uh, take this off of here. You don't gotta drain out all the water, but you know, most of it, if you can, if you can get most of the water out. 
helps. Oh, grab that. Oh, fallen soldier. I'll grab those. Don't worry. And grab those guys. Throw those back in there. And then I'll uh, just take your little your, uh, your your boiled veggies. Throw them on there. Scoop, scoop, move them around. He got a nice little casserole thing going on here. So then take that. Throw that back in the oven. I usually like to add some kind of plant protein to the mix here. To exercise quite a bit. This is tempeh. I don't know, it's like some fermented rice thing. I don't even really know what it is, but it, it works. It does the job. Throw some chunks of that in there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of fry it up so it's a little a little crispy on those edges. Yeah, get that in there. And stir it up nice and nice. It's gonna taste pretty good. Maybe take some of this uh, pepper. Throw some pepper in there. All right, so that tempeh has been cooking for like three minutes or something. Uh, take out our casserole. Take our tempeh here and uh, throw that around there. Just keep, keep, keep adding to this casserole thing we're making. Stir that around. Maybe break it up a little bit, you know, those chunks. And uh, take this thing and throw it back in there. It's starting to come together. Close that up. And then we're going to boil some more water. I like New York City water. I think it helps. It, it makes things taste, I don't know, different. I, I can't describe it, but it, I like using just the regular tap water whenever possible when I'm cooking. Uh, so yeah, we'll boil this up. Alright, so the water's boiling up. I was gonna throw some quinoa in there. And oh, so I guess the oven's preheated now. And then I was also gonna throw in some rice just to kind of mix it up. You know, two for two for one special. Uh, and then uh, I just stir this up a little bit. And once it gets to a second boil, I don't know, I'm weird about this process with rice. Um, so it's going to start to boil a little bit longer. And now I turn the temperature really far down, like just simmer, and put the cap on there, and I'll come back in 10 minutes and we'll be good to go. All right, so we're back here. I probably burnt this. I was making a view. Oh, it's not too bad. Uh, I tend to get really distracted when I'm making beets. And uh, I burn a lot of food, especially pizzas. Um, so let's see what we got going on in here. Uh, all right. Oh, give me that. Give me the, the, the reveal there. And here we go. Oh, that looks pretty good already. So, let me take his stuff and throw that on top of there, just like so. Yeah. Nice. Looks pretty good already. But, let's take, oh, I'll drop some back here. Whoops. And then, oh, delicious. Tasted pretty good so far. Scrub that around. But uh, I want to get a little bit of flavor going on here. So I usually use some soy sauce. That's where I get the salt coming in, but also like a little bit of nutty flavor and it's very tasty stuff. All right, so scrub that around a little bit. Got those beets. Putting some nice purple flavor all around, which is nice. Oh, I'm starting to get hungry. This is looking good. 
I'm going to scrub that around in there. And then uh, I'll throw this in there for, I don't know, 10 more minutes, something like that. And uh, we'll have dinner for the next two or three days. This will probably last me two or three days. And, uh, yeah, throw this back in there for a couple more minutes and we'll be good to go.